conquering cancer one shaved head at a time. The St. Baldrick's Foundation held its annual pediatric cancer research fundraiser today. News 19's Zoe Henry has more. Close clips for an even closer cause. We are here um, for St. Baldrick's um, to raise money for pediatric cancer research. For some, it's just the right thing to do. It just means doing our part for the kids out there that they don't have no choice. They lose their hair, ours will grow back, not necessarily with theirs. While for others, the locks piling up on the floor are personal. Our son, Brayden, um, is a pediatric cancer survivor. He was diagnosed with leukemia when he was 10. Brock was diagnosed with stage 4 infant leukemia at 8 months old. They gave us a 0% chance of him living and a 25% chance of him being 5. And he will be 27 next month. Brock's family says when he was diagnosed in 1997, there was very little research. And events like this one changed his life. They told us when he was diagnosed just a couple years before that he would not have made it. There were 37 children diagnosed in 1997 in the whole country. Five lived. There's one. And this is one. Brayton's family says there's still work to be done. Um, we just, there needs to be more funding. There needs to be more research. There needs to be more done for these children um, for their treatments. As far as it goes for losing hair, brows, and beards, it's not, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Um, Hair can grow anytime. Yep. It's, it, it, it'll grow back. Um, it's a small little thing to do. Zoe Henry, News 19, WLTX. What an incredible event. Well, at the end of this event, St. Baldrick's raised more than $61,000.